Hi, Dr. Bryson. Can you tell us about the toxicity risk factor? Yeah, toxicity, and we've named this type 3 Alzheimer's, is arguably the most important and most common contributor. We see it time and time again. We also see in about 20% of people that it's virtually all toxicity. For most of the others, and the majority of people have some degree of toxicity. So this is that toxic type, but toxins as a whole impact all the subtypes. And so, for example, and we see it in you know, many different people. So um, it, we see it with the uh, inorganics, um, air pollution, mercury, things like that, the organics, anesthetic agents, glyphosate, toluene, benzene, things like that. And we see it with the biotoxins, trichothecenes, uh, ochratoxin A, uh, gliotoxin, things like that. These are all toxins. They're all demanding your system to excrete them, to metabolize them, get rid of them. And unfortunately, they are also sequestered in multiple different organs. So toxins are very important. And in fact, it's the hardest thing to treat of the different groups. And the really expert uh, clinicians are the ones that can treat successfully uh, toxic-related Alzheimer's disease, can get the detoxification going optimally, can look for the right ones, determine which ones are there, and optimize that detoxification. It's really a field unto itself. You could spend hours and hours talking about this. It's been surprising. It has not been recognized uh, by the mainstream for the importance that it really does exert in cognition.